the Quickie Award. For, oh. <laughs> right there following oh, the, date, date night. Yeah. This is... <laughs> yeah, 50 means, minutes to kill. What do you play? Any uh, nominees offhand while I dig up... Desktop oh, Dungeons. <laughs> Our list is too tight, man. Desktop Dungeons. <laughs> it's going to hurt. Yeah, Desktop Dungeons is definitely... Rogue Legacy. One more run. Cookie Clicker. Beta. <laughs> Cookie cl- I, I'm gonna put the, Cookie you've been playing that for like the last two hours, though. Nuclear. <laughs> and you're, I and have you, been playing and it. And you've not actually been playing it. And not it. actually touched it. It <laughs> plays itself. He's been killing a lot of 15-minute intervals. <laughs> All right. um, Let's see. I'm going to go at... Sp- Spelunky is... I, I, it was nominated last year. Like I, lo- I love... Spelunky was a big part of our 2013. That's the only one I yeah. want on the list. But, my Spelunky runs take 30 minutes. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For me, it's Gunpoint. Gunpoint. Yep. Gunpoint. Yep. Um, Tiny Barbarian. That's a good one. I sat down and played that entire thing. Man, that game was tough. In one sitting. Risk of Rain. The whole Gunpoint or Tiny uh, Barbarian? Tiny Barbarian. Tiny I Barbarian. sat down and played in one sitting. So I that couldn't. was more than 15 minutes. I gave up. Mercenary Kings. And Risk of Rain took me 40 minutes to beat. Animal Crossing New Leaf. <laughs> Why is that on here? <laughs> uh, is that like the the like you wake up and then you go and yeah. do all your you little do your daily stuff chores? And yeah, you put it down. <laughs> yeah. when you, when you I felt all... that way with uh, Spelunky. Like every, I'd get home daily and then I'd challenge. be like, oh, get home, daily, do daily ch- challenge. Get home, do my daily challenge before Papers, Justin please. does his. <laughs> and Legend of Dungeon. Hey, Gifford wants to change his game of the year vote. Gift. Hey, Giftor. <laughs> hey, I'm so glad he played a game this year. <laughs> I love you, Gifford. <laughs> <laughs> Any um. Any other nominees before we narrow this down? Starbound. Uh, it's beta. I, I think we should be sh- no, cautious be- of putting betas in here. We're good with because we have a beta award. Think, no, didn't we decide if you can if you can pay money for it and are, play it, then it counts? In, yeah. Did we? Yeah. Okay. But, <laughs> yeah. I know Josh was pretty felt pretty strong about that. About what? If, if, you, if, you, if, if you can pay money for it and for play it, it we have then podcast it's free game to be criticized. Decision. Well, no, we could criticize it, but I just mean in terms of this, like... Oh. Oh, yeah, I still because, agree. Like, now's not the time to play Starbound, but I don't, yeah. I, I don't think... Can I don't, play, I don't play, play Starbound play, for 15 minutes. Yeah, you can play <laughs> Starbound for 15 minutes, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. A, it's... Uh, I'll maybe go in with that mentality, but I have to also yeah. be okay with three hours going by. <laughs> yeah, that's how I so, feel about it. Yeah, so I'm gonna start. I don't think Starbound. Starbound's a quickie. Yeah. Okay, let's narrow this down. What would you like to cut? I don't think Tiny Barbarian's a quickie game. It's, I don't either. Yeah, you know, the platformers. You have to get into a rhythm with that yeah. game. Yeah. Um. What's Cookie Clicker on there? Get that off. I was saying Mercenary Kings. Yeah, it's kind of the same boat. What? Mercenary Kings? What about? Put it on there. What are we? What are we? It'll be good, but it's not compared to some of these. It does. It doesn't have legs yet. Oh, uh, how often have you played Mercenary hmm. Kings? Uh, A handful of times. Like as much as I want to play an early access game, but like the mission structure of it, you can just get in. I think it's going to be. Yeah, get in, play a mission, get out. I think it's going to be good, but it it it. It would struggle with a lot of these, I think. Uh, and papers, papers, please. I like to get in a rhythm, rhythm with, so that's kind of why I'd cut it. I've heard both. I've heard people talk about that and say no, yeah. like no, you got to play it like a real work, like a real job, and just do your one day, and then just oh, all right. Yeah. And then I've heard other people say no, you just you got to start and just marathon it. So, having not played it but watched a bunch of people, <laughs> yeah, Gifford, play it, I'm Minecraft not sure is the reason that. we struggle with the including betas because it was in beta for so long. So yeah. Um, Okay, so <laughs> it's not really much different right now than it than it was when it started. So, Risk of Rain, Nuclear Throne, Rogue Legacy, yes. Desktop Dun. Some of these games, it's it's the like yeah, if you get into a run and you fail, yeah, it could be over in fifteen minutes. I think Desktop yeah. Dungeons explicitly promotes itself as being a game that okay. you could play uh, for yeah. ten minutes. I'm fine with separating that one out. And then yeah, okay, Gunpoint is another down. mission. Go get in and get out, do a mission. I like yep. the the puzzle games that way. I could be, I'd be okay yeah. with that. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever had a mission take me longer than ten minutes. Yeah, I just yeah. But I but also, there's an end to gunpoint. That's what I was thinking. That, that would be the my only argument. Are, because there are user created levels at this point. But the yeah. only problem with gunpoint is it's a pretty quick experience. It's yeah. a really really good one. But I played that one completely through, and I think there's you know somewhat of a rhythm to that too. But they're just not. Yeah. Uh, these other games have. Uh, 
infinite almost, you know, playability. And I think that kind of goes into the quickie award without being, you know, uh, without us stating that up front is you should yeah, be able yeah. to play this in 15 minute sections for the rest of your life. I think then by that, wouldn't we take, didn't you beat risk of rain in 40 minutes? <laughs> It took me forty minutes, but if you fail, I don't know. If yeah. You actually keep going, so it's if you're if you're awesome. But could you like could you play is. it for the rest of your life? I haven't played it enough to be able to judge you it. You could but. you could play it for the rest of your life. It's like it's but like you can't. It's like Binding of Isaac in there. In no, that so it's pretty random. Yeah, yeah. it randomizes certain yeah. elements. Right. It's different every time you play, and you're. There's progression stuff. I'm gonna take off Legend of Dungeon just because I think it's the weakest out of like. Yeah, I struggled with I that one. I would take that down. Um. Okay, cookie clicker. So I would, so <laughs> take it off because it's, it's cute for a minute. Yeah, take it off because it's not healthy. One more time. <laughs> Where am I? Okay. Don't want don't want to remind people about cookie clicker. <laughs> it's like a version two, man. <laughs> I'm I'm about to strike nuclear throne, mercenary kings, and papers, please. I would get rid of papers, please. Kings, I I, I really like throne. I choose Is legacy it? over throne. If, yeah. If we're putting those on a level, then I okay. Will. So we're okay, we're good with please the, kings. Oh uh, yeah, I guess legacy is random. I was gonna yeah. say, is there an end to legacy, or is it you just keep playing? There's an yeah, end initially, I mean, but it's yeah. I mean, but there's so I mean, there it, will. Yeah. It's so <laughs> it's so random. Yeah. Yeah. And you could start okay. it over, and it would be a completely. Are we different getting rid game. of throne or? Yeah, I I mean I prefer rogue legacy and risk of rain over throne and dungeon. Yeah, I think throne is gonna be great, but like yeah. right now, like it, yeah. you know, it doesn't have the meat as, uh, that some of these do. Okay, you add someone that actually beat Risk of Rain and Rogue Legacy. And, oh, these you are close to all four of these games. I am, I've am. i played all four of these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping Desktop Dungeons simply because it's a game yeah, you can play over and over, 10-minute okay, increments. Yeah. Rogue Legacy, I whenever I play that, I take longer than 15 minutes. Risk of Rain, I would probably be the same way. And New Leaf, yeah, you can pick up. I've... I even had a rhythm back in the summer yeah. where I would pick that up, do a few things, and then put it away, and then I could come back to it like two hours later this and do is, the same this thing. This is desktop dungeons. Yeah, it's yeah. desktop dungeons. So I would, I would cut. I I'm cut, between Rogue and Risk of Rain, yeah, and I, I would cut al- one of those two. And I would almost cut. I, I would cut Rain just because yeah. we site wide we were so enthralled by Rogue Legacy. I would cut Rain okay. over Legacy. Uh-huh. And it's also got some issues as far as the balance goes too with that. Okay. When to succeed, you're gonna you have to play it longer than 15 minutes. Am I right on that? Like you yeah, can yeah, die quickly. Yeah, but, but you, same thing I mean, with Rogue Legacy. Win. Like I want to be careful with that. Like I can do a 15 minute Rogue Legacy run if I just want to go get in the, like do do a certain. Never mind. I, oh, I, I think a good way to to describe Rogue Legacy and Risk of Rain is Rogue Legacy. You can go in there with the mindset of I will do a quick like a money run, or I'll just get myself some experience. I'll do one quick run. You can even kill yourself, yeah. get the money or whatever, and then level up and then put that game down. Whereas Risk of Rain, yeah. you don't get 15 minutes into it and think, okay, I'll stop and then I'll come back to this. You have to either win or lose, and yeah. that's the end of it. There's no, you're yeah. not building towards something. You've just cut your game short. Mm-hmm. So I think Legacy works. One step higher than Risk of Rain. All right. Yeah. Um, who is not voting for Desktop Dungeons? Because that seems to be where we're headed. I, I didn't I'm play it, so it. I'm, I'm going to stay out. I had to Google one. it. <laughs> Does that mean you're voting for a new leaf? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to vote for a new leaf. <laughs> Take a shot. Take a shot. Take two shots. Um, I, did I make the right assumption, desktop, Ethan? Desktop Dungeons, to me, I, I love Rogue Legacy, don't get me wrong. But I think that if, if Desktop Dungeons is such a tight experience, and the 15 minutes to me is not just actually playing it, but also learning how to play it, okay? And like, because you have to, and it's so, there's there's a, somewhat of a high barrier of difficulty to get into it, you know? Um, but it, it, is, it, is, it is packaged as the perfect 15 minute game. Sessions yeah. should not take you more than 15 minutes. You also have progression that you get, so you can go in, you can lose, but you can also, you know, uh, get a new item or do that kind of stuff. I mean, it is yeah. built to be a 15-minute game. It's a unique concept. Um, not that Rogue Legacy wasn't, but yeah. we've seen a Rogue Legacy in, in one way or another. Dun- Desktop Dungeon yeah. stands apart from all these because yeah. it has everything you want from a roguelike, but it also has this this puzzle element that just that makes you want to keep coming back Definitely. 15 minutes at a time. All right. Unanimous. We got it. Let's not do that. 
All right. So the quickie award goes to Desktop Dungeons, the other finalists, Rogue Legacy, Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm fine with that. As long, as, as, animal, f- an, as, long as Animal Crossing doesn't win. Oh, there's no one <laughs> arguing shot. for Rogue Legacy. Bitch. I didn't even need to sell it then. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I got to defend this. And I no, didn't and no, this. That, that 15 minutes a day is a waste of your time on Animal Crossing. <laughs> that is just bad game design. No, I think... Uh, I, th- I think apples. it was worth bringing up the argument for Rogue Legacy 2. So. Yeah. 